Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to take a simple exercise mini crankcase in SOLIDWORKS and here we will learn some basic features and we will also see how to make this cosmetic thread in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you like it. So let's see. Mini crankcase is the next exercise in SOLIDWORKS. Now you will see this is our front plane. Now see bottom length 22 means half length is 11 millimeter then 3 mm upward side little go inside make this tapered then this tapered 12.7 mm at 30 angle from horizontal line overall length 17 mm and how long we need to extrude here you will see 15 mm then back side we need to create extrude this 9.5 diameter and distance from bottom is 2.7 and this is located at center 9.5 here see front plane is sketch now I'll draw for center line which help us to create this geometry now let me choose here dynamic mirror first let me define the center line line now see it's automatically going to create see now no need to define anything else just simply press ok escape now let's define the dimension now this one 22 3 millimeter overall length 17 millimeter this one 12.7 millimeter and how we will find the degree click and click this center point you will see this came click this arrow 30 degree ok now this one is defined now let's check what else fillet 2 millimeter let's choose this corner better to take little inside then apply see if it is a narrow it won't apply say yes now click here yes dimension now let's define this right this is important dimension one millimeter see this is drawing fully defined Now if you check by default it's 5 mm. Now this is fully defined a sketch. Ok let's apply again. Ok by default this is also 5 mm. Now this is fully defined a sketch. If you select extruded boss base and uh, let's reverse it and 15 millimeter is the width say yes now let's come back side a sketch let's draw a circle and this is 9.5 millimeter okay now distance distance from here to hold shift key and click see if you shift, select shift key you will show the this dimension 2.75 millimeter now let's define one constraint hold shift key center of circle origin vertical relation go to feature choose extruded boss base and how long this need keep end condition blind 6.5 millimeter fillet 1 millimeter this corner ok now now you will see there is a hole there is inside hole and this hole diameter is 6 millimeter then one more hole here 12.5 depth 14 millimeter you will see this 14 depth see this construction line 14 depth these two holes we need to create 
radius outside already created 6.5 millimeter then once this finish we will comes to on the top face here we need to make this hole this hole diameter 9 millimeter then there is four number of hole with thread we will apply cosmetic thread m2 into 0.4 and depth is 2 millimeter and the center distance 6.5 from one side and this hole cut out is up to this body and this one is a 2 mm depth let's try this a sketch circle now first hole 12.7 mm now the second one is 6 mm let's define the dimension this is 7.5 mm let's apply constraint hold shift key and select this two center point vertical relation extruded cut go to selected contour which is outer circle only so that it will select whole geometry depth blind first one is outer one 14 again select the same sketch extruded cut in selected contour choose this inner circle and this one keep and condition through all now look comes on top a sketch now here we need to create our geometry now this one we will choose center rectangle 9 tap 9 enter now here click for construction purpose we need this one for construction purpose circle this diameter 9 okay now distance from bottom edge 6.5 and uh, right click on this line we need to choose mid plane again comes out right click select mid point see the mid point of this line selected hold shift key center of circle vertical constraint or vertical relation now here we need to select extruded cut end condition keep only up to next if we choose next it will cut up to inside wall look show now here i'll go to hole wizard we need to create a straight tap tap hole matrix bottoming tapped hole we need this is the size m2 into 0.4 the blind depth 2 mm 2 mm with this and this is also the depth length also we will keep two okay depth uh, length 1.6 actual to to position select this face now let's select this corners escape key and out of this now just check out everything is fine say yes now if you are not able to see the cosmetic thread just go to documents property detailing click cost shaded cosmetic thread now look now in the same way let's apply to this face now 
9 by 9 tab for construction purpose I will do the same same dimension nothing different now this distance from bottom edge it's 6 milli 6.5 right click midpoint hold shift key center point vertical relation extruded cut end condition keep next ok see again show hole wizard straight tap bottoming tapped hole 2 millimeter length we we want okay tap thread depth 1.6 select this face okay Even though tap depth thread okay actually we selected this one up to shoulder so without shoulder this will be the size so that's fine say yes let's hide Now you will see here four number of holes M2 into 0.4. This is the tolerance. Two millimeter is the depth. Depth of thread and depth of hole. And 6.5 millimeter from here, 6.5 millimeter. So this one is created. Now what else balance? At the bottom there is same hole, but depth is three millimeter. Center distance 12 millimeter. From one side five millimeter. And from this side. 7.5 millimeter. So let's make this two holes. A sketch. Oh, sorry. No need to sketch actually. You can directly put hole here. I'll select hole wizard. Tap hole same. Three millimeter, three millimeter depth, position one, two, escape key, hold dimension. Let me define this dimension. What we say twelve, and from one end to outer edge five. Now let's make one more relation. Select both the circles, x axis. That's it. Dimension 7.5 at the center of the main body. If we check preview, okay. See, it is not going to bother. Let's apply material. Now I will go to metal, silver, oh, that's look perfect. So this is how we make a simple exercise. This is good example for the beginners. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.